Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and this is Lucy Loves Lots. Um, first off, I apologise if you can hear the shower running. My eldest has been swimming, so she's just grabbing a quick shower. Um, but we're going to just press ahead with the video. Um, today's video is going to be a short one. It is just my a quick video with my October TBR pile on there. Um, I've not got many books this month due to the fact work is quite busy. Um, so I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have to get through these. Um, also, it's my birthday week month, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing that. I've got the whole week off. And then it's also October half term. So I'm going to have the kids with me as well. So again, not sure how much reading I am going to get done this month. But let's jump in to what I have chosen to read this month. First off, please don't come for me because this is set in summer, but... I wanted to read it, I'm going to read it and it's Midsummer Magic and this is by Julia Williams. Um, it's basically about four friends who all go to Cornwall where, to visit one of their friend's parents and whilst they go for a drink at the pub they meet a TV hypnotist who persuades them to take part in a dare and obviously it's just about what the results of the dare are and it just says local mythology predicts that an evening by the standing stones will lead to everlasting happiness. Um, so, and it says an enchanting and entertaining novel that will delight fans of Katie Ford and Veronica Henry. So, quite looking forward to it, even though it is a summer book. Yeah, I can get away with it in autumn. <laughs> the next one I picked is perfect for October. It's a spooky, gothic, um, and just perfect for this time of year. And it is Gothic Tales by Elizabeth Gaskell. And it's exactly what it says. It's a collection of short um, novellas by Elizabeth Gaskell and they're all gothic. Um, I think there's, there's five in this book. And it just says, Elizabeth Gaskell's chilling gothic tales blend the real and supernatural to eerie compelling effect. And what could be more perfect for this time of year? So it says she whispered, such whispered tales and such temptations and hauntings and devilish terrors so i cannot wait to sink my teeth into that book number three it is actually two by the same author it's books five and six so the first one is tokyo tarariba girls i'm sorry i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce her name but let me put it there it's from the author of princess jellyfish um so this is book number five and it's a series that follows the three friends who all are hoping that they can be married by the time the Tokyo Olympics come around. Um, so you've got um, Rinko Ka Kaori, I'm not, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and Koyuki, um, they're the three friends and then you have this gentleman who's called Ki um, and he just likes to wind the three friends up, calling them the what if girls so I need to get that done and then as I said I was number six as well so I want to read number six of the Tokyo Tarariba girls and again I do apologize I cannot pronounce her name um, so get them done I think I should get these done, read quite easily because they are really short and if you see the side you know I can usually read these within a couple of hours depending on the kids if they're behaving themselves. The next book I've chose is, is um, Chance Encounters by Rosie Harris. Now this one intrigued me because one, it's set during the war and I do tend to gravitate towards books that are set during the war. And now this is set during World War II um, and it follows Megan who has decided she wants to do something to help in the war effort. But during her time thinking about what she can do, she becomes appalled um, at the plight of unmarried pregnant women who have got pregnant by passing sailors or American GIs and then just abandoned. So she decides she is going to open a refuge for unmarried mothers. So I cannot wait to read it. It just says, a chance meeting will change her life in ways she never could have imagined. An emotional and compelling saga set in wartime Liverpool. So, yep, yeah, I can't wait to read that one. And then the last one, which I am reading at the moment, 
is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. It's book one in the trilogy and I'm 70 pages in and it is a really good book and I cannot wait to finish it. And it just follows Karu who is a 17 year old teenager and she is stuck between two worlds. One where she's a 17 year old art student in Prague and the other she is the errand girl for a monstrous creature from the elsewhere. So I cannot wait to finish that one. Uh, fantasy is not usually my go-to, but I'm actually really loving this one and I can't wait to finish it and get on with the next collection. Now, as I mentioned earlier, because work is so busy, I have been reading on my Kindle as well. Um, I don't have a picture like that I can put up, but this is what I'm reading at the moment. It's called By Mistake and it's uh, book one of the Poison and Wine series and again I am not even going to try and pronounce the author's name so there you go if you want to read it and it basically follows two people um what are their names bear with me Anna and Liam um Liam accidentally sends an email to Anna thinking it's his friend she replies back and then they go back and forth until they finally decide to meet and then it's going to be what happens when they meet I've just fed up to where they've had their first date and then we're gonna see where it goes from there it's quite good it's not something I would go out and buy it was a free book for Kindle but it's light-hearted and in the job I do having something light-hearted to read is quite perfect and I can just read it at my desk when it's quiet um, if I get my lunch break I can just scroll through it without having to have my book with me um, if I get through all these I do, like I said, want to read the second book in The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which is um, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. And obviously it's following on from book one. So that is everything um, I have chosen to read this month. I will be doing a wrap up video at the end of the month, start of November, um, to see which books I actually managed to read. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and you will be notified as to when I make another video. That is all I've got for now so I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you in another video soon. Bye guys!